We had a very successful education department. The first time we gave the GED test, we didn't get the results back. And uh, finally, I called the state superintendent, and he called a special meeting. Well, when I went into the meeting, the people who ran the GED test had the pictures of all of these inmates, identifying them when they took the test. And God, it was when they were captured, you know, and they looked like uh, pretty bad people. And they said, 90 some percent of them passed the GED test. And he said, how can that be? And uh, the uh, state superintendent listened to all of this and he ended up apologizing to me, told me we'd have the uh, GEDs for these people, you know, next week. And uh, he asked me, you know, did I have anything to add? And I said, well, we're so happy that we're giving it. We'd like to give it three times a year after each semester. And he looked at me and laughed and said, okay. They just believed that prisoners should be beaten and uh, disciplined and made to do things. And uh, my system was uh, to love them. And my volunteers, that was their attitude too. And uh, I was very thankful for that because I know we actually helped a lot of prisoners. Restorative justice has to be much, 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 much more important. It was in Jesus Christ's life. With what I try to do, I do it with my heart. This is a way of living out Christianity, and it's the way that I've, I've opted in my life to, to live out Christianity. <laughs>